In today's video, I'm excited to review some extraordinary shoes from one of the most well-known Italian shoemakers in the world, Stefano Bimmer. I'm Kirby Allison, and I love helping the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Join me as we explore the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. As all of you know, we have reviewed a lot of British shoemakers on this channel, but today I'm excited to review one of our first from Italy, Stefano Bimmer. Based in Florence, Italy, Stefano Bimmer is perhaps one of the best known Italian shoemakers and a real influence on the shoemaking industry. In addition to making incredible bespoke and ready-to-wear shoes, Stefano Bimmer is also very well known as having one of the few formal shoemaking schools in the world. Stefano Bimmer started repairing shoes in 1983 when his local town cobbler passed away. After a local aristocrat invited Stefano to view his collection of bespoke John Lobb shoes, Stefano was inspired to move to Florence to learn bespoke shoemaking under a local master. Stefano's work was quickly recognized for pairing exceptional craftsmanship with creative Italian designs. In 2012, Stefano tragically passed away at the age of 48. He was too young. The company, though, was purchased by Tommaso Melani, who continues to run it to this day. In addition to their superb bespoke shoes, Stefano Bimmer is probably best known as one of just a few shoemaking firms out there with a ready-to-wear collection of completely hand-welted shoes. These shoes are made using the exact same materials, craftsmanship, and techniques as a bespoke shoe, but on a standard ready-to-wear last. Today, we are reviewing a shoe from Bimmer's Tradizione collection of made-to-order and ready-to-wear shoes in the 1786 replica Russian Reindeer. This is really a special shoe. Stefano Bimmer essentially has three ranges of ready-to-wear and made-to-order shoes and two levels of bespoke offerings. The Tradizione collection of shoes is made to the exact same standards as bespoke shoes. It has hand-sewn shanks creating either a beveled or fiddle-backed waist, whatever the client wants, and it is really by all means a bespoke shoe only made on a stock last. The price of the Tradizione collection begins at 1,650 euros or about 2,000 US dollars. And they come with their own wooden box and with lasted shoe trees. Now the shoe that we have here today is a very special example from their Tradizione range. And that is because this is made on the 1786 mock Russian reindeer. Now for those who aren't familiar with the Russian reindeer story, there was a Russian merchant ship that was sailing from Russia to the United Kingdom in 1786 uh, with a cargo of Russian reindeer that sank off the coast of Cornwall. Now in the 1980s, some divers uh, were diving in that region, discovered the shipwreck, and then began excavating or salvaging uh, that uh, leather from that ship. That's when some bespoke shoemakers discovered this Russian reindeer and begun making shoes with it. Now it's incredibly rare because the leather is actually from 1786 and was tanned using a special process that just is impossible to find these days. Now the leather used in this shoe is mock Russian reindeer, so it's not the actual Russian reindeer that sank on that ship, uh, but it was recreated using the same tanning process. And so the leather looks very similar uh, to the Russian reindeer where it is hand hatch grained uh, and then also smells of that birch oil. So this material is very unique and it's the type of material that you find Stefano Bimmer using their shoes. Now, whenever it comes to construction, this shoe is absolutely beautifully made. And I wanna walk through some of the elements that really make this shoe special, especially when compared to other ready-to-wear shoes that are Goodyear welted in a factory. Now, this is a fully bench-made uh, shoe using all of the same elements of craftsmanship and quality that you would find with a bespoke shoe, except instead of being made on a bespoke last, uh, it is made uh, on a standard kind of ready-to-wear last. So this is a standard last. The last used in this shoe is uh, Stefano Bimmer's S last, which uh, features that soft square toe. Uh, you can see that this example right here has a slightly more rounded toe. So whenever you commission a pair of shoes from Stefano Bimmer, you know, really, uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, all of their Tradizione shoes are made to order. So you can customize which last and which toe shape you want. That said, even though it is a stock last, Stefano Bimmer is able to modify the shape of the last slightly. So if you're uh, someone that has a high instep, they can build that up. Uh, or if you have a high arch, you know, they can take that out. So there's small modifications that they can do to ensure that these shoes still fit perfectly. 
But that said, these lasts are really modeled off after bespoke lasts, and that means that it's gonna have that high arch on the inside that's really gonna cup the foot, uh, and then the heel is really kind of clipped in in the back to really cup the back of the heel. So the fit that you're gonna get on a Stefano Bimber shoe, uh, it really is going to be as close to bespoke as possible, as long as your feet uh, are within kind of normal ranges. Now, the thing that really differentiates the Stefano Bimmer shoes, again, is the way that they are made. And that is uh, completely handmade using the same techniques as a bespoke shoe. So what does that mean? Well, I have a series of four shoes that Stefano Bimmer sent me that'll walk you through that hand welting and hand lasting process. So first and foremost, all of the shoes on the Tradiziona range are hand clicked. Now what that means is that the pattern pieces are uh, really cut out by hand, and so you have the clicker, the person that does that work, taking the pattern piece and positioning it on the hide and using only the best areas and making sure that they avoid any of the natural blemishes that you find on leather. It's then cut out by hand and sewn together, and you can see that the clicking and the closing uh, is done incredibly well. Um, you know, with a high stitch density, with a high level of precision, you know, all of the elements that you would expect on an incredibly high-end pair of shoes. Now, the really special differentiation here, though, comes whenever the shoe is actually lasted. So again, this is a hand-welted shoe. It's not a Goodyear-welted shoe. And what that means is that all of the lasting uh, and the welting is actually done by hand, the same way as with the bespoke shoe. So here you see this is the insole. Um, it's gonna be soaked in water uh, and then nailed onto the bottom of the last so that the insole can actually conform as much as possible to that last shape. And then you have uh, the upper, which is uh, the interlining, any of the hard countering uh, or stiffeners, which are those hard pieces of leather uh, that give structure to the toe and the heel and support to the shoe. Uh, and then you have the uh, upper, all lasted over this last by hand. So that means that that, once it's sewn together, is pulled over the shoe by hand with pliers uh, and then nailed uh, to the last. Now this is then left to sit on the last uh, for several weeks to allow that uh, calfskin uh, and the upper really to mold and hold the shape of the shoe or the last. And the reason that that is important is because again, you have so much shape built into this uh, that you really need to one, pull it over by hand to stretch that leather uh, and then two, allow it to sit on that last for as long as possible to really kind of take in that shape. So after this is done, then you have the hand welting process. So this welting thread is used to sew all these pieces together. So the welt of the shoe uh, is really the backbone. It's the spine of the shoe. It's what holds all those pieces together. And it's what allows a really high quality, uh, either hand welted or a Goodyear welted shoe to be resold because the outsole is actually attached to the welt and has nothing to do uh, with the upper, you know, the interlining, the uh, insole. Uh, it's not touching any of that. This welt is holding all of that together and then the outsole is sewn on top. Now to contrast that with a Goodyear welted shoe, uh, you know, Goodyear uh, welted factory made shoes uh, are incredibly high quality, but they just lack that element of craftsmanship. And the way that this is achieved with the Goodyear welted shoe uh, is that a linen rib is glued to the insole and then a machine, uh, a Goodyear welting machine, then stitches these layers together and that's how the shoe is held together. But on a hand welted shoe, uh, this is all done by hand and really allows not only a greater precision and a greater finesse, uh, it allows for a tighter heel uh, and waist uh, and just creates a more flexible, more comfortable and longer lasting shoe. So after that welt is attached, you can see uh, in this model right here uh, that the welt is fully attached, right? Then the interior of the shoe is kind of filled in. Uh, the fiddleback waist is beginning to be developed. There's a shank in here uh, that would go right here. You don't see that shank uh, gives support to the shoe right here so that that uh, arch doesn't collapse, right? And then the outsole is attached again by hand. Uh, this is done with an invisible channel stitch, you know, where this sole uh, is uh, cut into and peeled back. And then you can see in here, they're stitching that outsole to the welt. And then what happens is this is pushed back down and glued together so that the final product, like what we see here uh, with this example, is an absolutely beautiful, uh, a beautifully finished outsole. Uh, and this is really one of those elements of craftsmanship that I absolutely love and a really high-end shoe. 
and that is the bottom finishing uh, is just as beautiful as the top, but really nobody sees it except you that is there for your enjoyment. Uh, and if you just look at the sculpture and the finishing of this outsole, it's unparalleled. And that's what you get here uh, on the Tradizione range. Now, in addition to that, you see that there's an incredibly uh, high arch here, right? So this is actually cupping the foot and providing support. So in a really high-end dress shoe, that support isn't done through an insole that's built up or padded. It's done by really kind of cutting a really narrow waist and allowing that arch to really cup the foot. And it really just makes a more comfortable shoe that is holding you in. Uh, and then if you look again, kind of going to the back, you see an absolutely a beautifully finished heel. This heel block is gonna be built up by individual layers of leather you know, that are glued and nailed together. It is finished first with glass and then it's gonna be dyed and waxed to a high shine. Just look how this heel block sits so neatly and so tightly underneath the back of the shoe. And so again, it's those elements uh, that are absolutely beautiful. Uh, another element here is that the uh, outsole is gonna be skived. So this is, you can see it's thick right here and then it gets thinner. So that outsole is being skived down or shaved down to create kind of a thinner, sleeker look. And just look, I mean, how that fits in there. I mean, it's amazing really uh, that if you look in this shoe that they're actually able to sew into that tight waist. And again, it's really difficult to do and has to be done by hand. Uh, and on a hand welted shoe, uh, you're able to get a much narrower kind of tighter waist. So, uh, you know, a very expensive shoe, uh, you know, at $2,000, you know, 1,650 euros. Uh, but really this is as close to bespoke as you can get uh, with the one exception of the bespoke last. It's one of the things that really sets Stefano Bimmer apart is that he added these intermediate ranges between a factory-made Goodyear welted shoe and a bespoke shoe. Stefano Bimmer is really doing some of the finest work out there, especially in a ready-to-wear, made-to-order shoe. And if you're someone that really wants those elements of quality and craftsmanship that bespoke, uh, but in a ready-to-wear shoe that's more accessible, Stefano Bimmer is one of the few shoemakers out there with a truly incredible offer. Stefano Bimmer has a showroom in New York City. They also do some trunk shows. Uh, or if you're passing through Italy and are in Florence, you absolutely should go visit their showroom. If you haven't seen our full overview of Stefano Bimmer, uh, click the link in the upper right hand corner of this video and watch the video that we filmed just recently going through their entire range and collection of shoes. I'm Kirby Allison and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm wearing a bespoke Chris Despis suit. Uh, this is a dark charcoal herringbone suit. I love this, it's one of the first suits I purchased because of its nice, fine herringbone texture, which gives this otherwise solid suit a really nice visual texture. I'm wearing one of my favorite ties, our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade Basket Weave Tie. Uh, this is uh, absolutely, without question, one of my most favorite ties, incredibly formal, and you can see how with a white shirt and a dark suit, it is absolutely beautiful. I'm wearing my trademark white bespoke Charvet dress shirt. This has French cuffs, and you can see I have a very special pair of cufflinks today. This is one of our sovereign grade lotus flower cufflinks uh, that we have available on hangerproject.com made to order. I'm wearing a pair of dark gray small dot melange sovereign grade dress socks with my bespoke George Cleverly dress shoes.